I went up for the uh, presentation, and it was standing room only. And I was crammed up against the wall in the very back. And when John gave that presentation, I felt like he was speaking for all of us. We could come back to this country and we could be quiet. We could hold our silence. We could not tell what went on in Vietnam. But we feel because of what threatens this country, we have to speak out. Millions of men who have been taught to deal and to trade in violence and who are given the chance to die for the biggest nothing in history. Men who have returned with a sense of anger and a sense of betrayal which no one has yet grasped. We rationalized destroying villages in order to save them. We saw America lose her sense of morality as she accepted very coolly a milai and refused to give up the image of American soldiers that hand out chocolate bars and chewing gum. We learned the meaning of free fire zones, shoot anything that moves, and we watched while America placed a cheapness on the lives of Orientals. We watched the United States' falsification of body counts. In fact, the glorification of body counts. We watched while men charged up hills because a general said that hill has to be taken. And after losing one platoon or two platoons, they marched away to leave the hill for the reoccupation of the North Vietnamese. And we are asking Americans to think about that. Because how do you ask a man to be the last man to die in Vietnam? How do you ask a man to be the last man to die for a mistake? And so, when 30 years from now our brothers go down the street without a leg, without an arm or a face, and small boys ask why, we will be able to say Vietnam, and not mean a filthy, obscene memory, but mean instead the place where America finally turned and where soldiers like us helped it in the turning. Thank you. I thought I have never heard so such an incredible speech that says exactly what I'm feeling.